We have a right angle triangle with sides 5 units and 12 units. Inside the triangle, there is a semicircle placed so that the straight edge of the semicircle is at one vertex of the triangle. One side of the triangle just touches the curve edge of the semicircle at one point. So we need to find the area of the semicircle. Can you solve it? Where are we going to start from? All right, let's assume the center of this circle will be somewhere here on this side of the triangle. Now, let the radius of the semicircle be labeled as R. So, this will be R. And if we draw this radius from the center to this point, it will also be equals to R. So, let us find the hypotenuse. Because this is a right angle triangle, we will be using Pythagoras theorem. So, consider this right angle triangle. If this is of length 5 units and this is 12 units, then what will be the length of the hypotenuse? Let us label the hypotenuse as x. So x will be equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared, which will be equal to the square root of 25 plus 144. x will also be equal to the square root of 169. x will be equal to 13. So the hypotenuse is 13. Excellent! What else do you notice? Try looking deeper. Let me explain a theorem involving tangents and a radius. A tangent to a circle is a line that just touches the circle at one point. It is always perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of contact. So what will be this angle? It is a right angle. Nice one. Now we observe that we are heading somewhere again because we can again use Pythagoras theorem. On this right angle triangle. But then we have the side length as R unit. If this length is 12 units and this is R unit, then this side will be of length 12 minus R. Now we need this length. We know that the whole of this length is 13 units, but that alone will not give anything. So we need the length of this piece so that we can find the length of the side of the triangle. For that, let me tell you about a theorem called two tangent theorem. If two tangents are drawn to a circle from a single external point, then this tangent will always be equal in length. So in our case, this point acts as the external point through which we have these two sides as the tangents to the semicircle. And therefore, this side will be equal to the length of this side. This is 5 units. Therefore, this will also be equal to 5 units. Therefore, this length will be 13 minus 5 or 8 units. Yes, everything is super easy now. Let's use Pythagoras theorem. That will be a squared plus r squared equals to 12 minus r squared. Now let us expand this one. We are going to have this 144 plus r squared minus 24r. Now when you move this r squared to this side of the equation, you are going to have r squared minus r squared. That will be zero. So when we solve this equation, we arrive at 24r equals to 80. r will be equals to 80 over 24, also equals to 10 over 3. So to find the area of the semicircle, the area of a semicircle is 1 over 2 pi r squared. This equals to 100 pi over 18. Area will be equals to 50 pi over 9. I know that you have gained value in this lesson. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.